Okay, it is turning fall-like in the weather. It's um, middle of September. And look at my nice New York City log making me think of the city. Uh, we love you. Uh, so instead of waking today, as some of you might know, this is waking girl. So we are in the morning. And I already have some of these short ribs to check out, which is awesome. I marinated them already. Uh, very similar to my YouTube video, which you can check out for the Asian style marinade. But soy sauce, honey, sugar, garlic in this one. A little bit of ayu sambal, so a little chili sauce. Had the grill going this morning, and then we're gonna pack this up for lunch. So I love grilling in the morning. I like grilling because it doesn't make a mess. I mean, well, on the grill it does, but not inside the house. And I get to have my coffee, let it cool down in the nice, cool air. So I can't beat this waking and grilling. Uh, this is for all those fathers out there that are cooking in the morning. This kind of reminds me, except for being outdoors, um, but I remember when I was working in Svalga and we had to cook stuff for it, just pre mark stuff for the uh, Academy Award Governor's Ball Dinner. I had these big tote de for these big, you know, bone and ribeyes. And so it was so early in the morning, like late night, uh, past midnight after service is done. So I'd be uh, sitting at the grill there and people would be like laughing, but just to keep myself up and do a good job, I'd be drinking coffee next to a hot grill at like 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so I just finished this and as you can see, it's steaming off, so it's kind of cooler out today. Green style marinated short ribs. So for the kids, do a little lunch. A little, uh, do a little sandwich. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit so it's easier to eat, but sandwich form is not. Okay, I'm gonna start my kid's sandwich, and it's I toasted it a little bit just to create a little berry. It's a little soft on this side, it's soft, a little crispy. You want to create a berry because this is kind of juicy, so we don't want it to tear through and soak up the bread. It's bread soaked meat. I mean, yeah, bread soaked with meat juices. Yeah, it can be okay, but not for kids' sandwiches. So I'm gonna take off the bone here. And this one, let's see how many to that, two, maybe three, depending on the side. I'll do, yeah, three. I don't want to, maybe I'll do four. I don't want to overwhelm the meat to bread ratio. It's an important ratio, as my son pointed out. I had too much bacon in my wraps before. So instead of, you know, if it's a big log piece, it's a little bit chewier, so you don't want to have it, you know, pulling it apart. So I'm going to cut it up a little bit this way. Here we have it. And then I'm going to just use one slice of cheese. But same thing here applies. A little mayo, a little barrier. You use butter too if you'd like. It just creates a little bit of a protective barrier onto the sandwich so it doesn't soak through. And it's important so you can hear a little bit of that. So I don't want to toast it too much because this is like, you know, standard kind of whole wheat dish bread. So it's a little soft. So you want to maintain that soft, crispy part. Cheese, just like that. And I'll put that on top. Just like that. So if even it falls down, you can pick it up and eat it. So that's that here. And to make it a little easier, I'm going to cut it out. A little press, slice. There we go. Sandwich complete. Hey everyone, good morning. I'm going to make lunches again. So today is day four, Thursday, and I'm making like a caprese sandwich. So. Uh, I have my tomatoes, they're on towel, I salted them, so let them drain a little bit, both sides, pepper, uh, a little fresh mozzarella, like that, not too thick, thin enough, kind of like that, and let me get one more piece down there, and then I'm going to cut some ciabatta bread, which is nice and soft, which is great, I'm not going to toast it, I think I'm going to leave it like that, I'm going to keep the sandwich, try not to make it um, very wet, so that's why it's good to drain the tomatoes, but also you need seasoning. The salt will draw the water out. So here, and a nice ciabatta, which is slipper, slipper bread. And there's a little thick, yeah, that could be for breakfast toast. You can go about this thick. There, one, two. This one's a little holy, so I'm gonna keep cutting until I get one that doesn't have a big hole in it, because you know that's gonna be a, that's going to go through the sandwich, and that would make some child possibly upset and we don't want to try to do so that, that's going to be the best we can get right now there's one that's good two i get one more i can get this one right now so sometimes you have to go to go through this to make a great sandwich okay for this part the spread instead of like a mayo or butter i've got pesto pre-prepared easy enough it obviously it's a lot not just for sandwiches you can use it for your pasta afterwards spread that down just like that Sure there's enough flavor so we're gonna have that so it's you know caprese so you have the basil the tomato the mozzarella um and then we're gonna start building 
and put the cheese on the outside, another barrier, like so. I'm gonna take another piece just to maximize so every bite has a little bit of cheese in there, just like that. Bit of thinness will help so it doesn't break up so much. Uh, two slices of tomato, or one, depending on if you try that's it's a little lot right there. And then add a little bit more salt onto the mozzarella, even though it is lightly salted. Want to do a little more flavor. And that's it. So simple, so good, kind of like a, I don't want to say pizza, but it's the bread, the cheese, the tomato, nice and juicy, just like that. Good morning, everybody. Day five, Friday, end of the week. We made it through one, the first week of school, and I'm going to make another type of sandwich. Uh, you're going to use baguette today, so bread choices are important. Um, baguette sometimes gets a little hard, but I took a nice softer one, and so I'm just going to do the prerequisite. Uh, I may use butter for this step. I have mayo again, um, just because the kids like it. So part of it's like making a sandwich is what your kids like too. So this is just my suggestions because my kids, uh, now I'm figuring out one doesn't like tomato. So there we go. Uh, so a little mustard, cause I'm going to do a, like a beef schnitzel sandwich. So like a fried beef here on this side, but I'm going to do like a honey mustard. So let's do a little bit of this honey bear too. Make it a little sweet and I wouldn't say super sour, but just a little bit of a honey mustard right there. And then we're going to spread that in to mix it in. You can mix it, you can pre-mix it too in a bowl, but I just wouldn't do that because I like that little pockets of sweet where the baguette holes kind of pick it up. That's good on both ends. A little bit of cheese down. And this is enough, so on a baguette or kind of like a long bread, this is enough for the two kids. So what I'm going to do is just split it in half so you don't have to make two different sandwiches. So, so here's this, uh, this long piece here. I'm going to take this little, press the edge out there and maybe cut this little one. Well, this is just beef that I pounded out and then uh, dipped in flour, egg wash, uh, which is egg mixed with a little bit of water, salt, pepper, and panko, and fried. Uh, that was, was like a, it's a leftover basically. So then we're putting that together and a little bit of lettuce for a little fresh crunch. Uh, and that romaine holds up pretty well to that. Do one more piece, Put a little bit there, just like that. Okay. And then just Give it a little push, and then in hero fashion, I'm going to do two, like I said, like that. There you go. Sandwich like that, and I'm going to cut it in half again to make it a little bit easier for them to eat. But there you go. A nice beef 